Hey, it's Boston Jimmy here from Stogie Press. And today, we're not going to be reviewing a cigar, although this Crema de Laranja is very nice from Espinosa. We are going to be talking about a new product. And this probably wants to be on your holiday gift list to so get it out there now. What you're seeing here is the Alchemist. This is an infusion device for alcohol. Now, what's in the box? Let's find out. Take the cat's top off. And by the way, this is coming from a company called Ethan and Ass, who contacted me a week or so ago and wanted to send me a sample of some of their line of products that they have. This being one of these really cool gifts that I'm sure you, any friend of yours that likes good spirits, cigars, they're going to enjoy this device. Now, what's in the box? There's an infusion vessel. And we'll just show you how this works. There's a top here that pops off and we'll get to that in a moment. On the bottom, we unscrew the canister on the bottom and there is, Inside of this, there is a kind of an instruction manual along with recipe cards, okay, that you can um, fill out for your various recipes of infusions um, along with additional recipe notes in here in the booklet. There's also a number of recipes that they offer based on the infusions that they can that they provide to you um they also have and they sent some of these these are infusion packets so they sent this one here called ancho libre which um they recommend this with bourbon or rye rum scotch tequila or vodka um it's got an ancho chili, black tea, orange peel, black peppercorn, and grains of paradise in it. The second one is black denim. And black denim is recommended for bourbon and rye, rum, scotch, tequila, mezcal, and vodka. And this one has orange peel, black tea, star anise, clove, and vanilla. And the last one is called house bitters. Now this one you actually use to make bitters. So they recommend using an overproof bourbon or a rum or a vodka. And it's got a ton of different types of uh, ingredients from orange peel, to coriander, to cardamom, cherry bark, uh, clove, vanilla, allspice, you can go through the whole list. Um, the idea is, is that this is the longest infusion one. I think this takes 30 days to infuse, but when you're done, you get a vessel of house bitters that you can use to enhance your drinks that you mix and your recipes. And basically what you do is you take this off and this is the where you put the ingredients. So we're going to actually uh, use the Ancho Libre. I went and bought myself some, some tequila. All right. And we're going to open up the packet. Okay. So when you, when you open it up, it gives you more instruction in case you haven't learned how to do it yet. All right. And it also gives you a, a recommended recipe. In this case, it's a Margarita Libre, which is going to use this infused tequila the end. And this one here will take approximately three to six hours for the infusion. And they, they recommend tasting it. I have no problem tasting tequila as I go through the process, but they recommend tasting it uh, during the infusion because you got to check on the intensity. That ancho chili is going to obviously build some intense uh, heat into the tequila. So we'll experiment. So you get this packet, basically you rip open the packet. Let's see what we're 
smell. Hey, the smell is with that chili. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You want to smell that. You want barbecue or something. You pour this in here. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So you can see. There's the. Spin it around a little. Then you put the top on like this. Turn it upside down. And you're going to take this and you're going to screw this back on. Now, this is sealed. It's got a. It's got a seal on it, so you don't have to worry about the, the tequila or the rum or the bourbon leaking out. And then you just take the top off, and I'll probably have to start the clock. Out. And we're just going to pour this in here. I like the lip on the top of this. It keeps the... Uh, fluid flowing into it without flowing over the top of the bottle. So it makes for filling this easy. I thought it would have needed a funnel, but you don't. It's very easy. There you go. And then you put the cap on. And you kind of shake it around to agitate it a little bit just to get the infusion going. And then they say store it in a cool, dark place. So I like this box because it's going to be dark. So we're going to stick this back in here. Okay. And we're going to cover back on. It's cool in here in my lounge. So there you go. We're going to put that aside. We'll come back to this in about three to six hours. And we'll see how it tastes. I'll be tasting along the way too, so we'll check it out. Okay, so it's been in the dark, cool place for the last few hours. Let's open this up and take out the infused tequila. So there we go. Moved it around a little bit. You can see on the bottom here, right? So you can see that darkness. And this is probably going to be powerful. Let me just turn it this way. There we go. Whoa, look at this. That is some weird concoction there. Oh my goodness. That was white tequila. And now it's dark brown tequila. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay. Hmm. Let's do a little sniff test. Hmm. Smells, uh, smells a little different. We're now going to taste. See that that's like beyond a dark tequila so let's see what an ancho libra infusion does to a white haradura tequila okay I taste it you ready wow it's not as over the top as far as pepperiness as I thought it would be, but there is definitely a, a kind of mild peppery burn on the palate. Not over the top, though. It's actually very tasty. It's very drinkable. That uh, pepperiness kind of just lingers on the palate between each sip. I find this infusion very nice, and um, yeah, this is a fantastic idea for a gift for your cigar enthusiast. Um, I could definitely see pairing this right now, and I probably will. I'll pair this with a kind of a heartier cigar. So if you're looking for a gift, especially at Christmas time, for a cigar enthusiast, a spirit enthusiast, 
I would say look into ethanash.com and I'll bring you to that website right now to show you what they have to offer. So here we are on the ethanash.com website looking at their collection, specifically the Alchemista, which is what we were reviewing today. And as you can see through here, there's various products you could buy. You could buy a mini bar bundle, which is what this was. It comes with the infuser. It comes with three infusion packets. You could pick different types of packets if you want. You can also order specific um, bundles of packets. You can come down and order a specific packet. Each one of these packets costs $10. Um, so $10 to infuse this bottle of tequila into this absolutely beautiful tasting new concoction. So the EthanAsh.com shop has a number of different products to add to your experience. Besides the infusion vessel that we featured today, there are obviously different infusion blends. You can get cool carafes, you can get accessories. If you go to the accessories area here, you can find that you can add replacement filters, you can repla replacement O-rings, you can get different tops and bottom caps. So like I, I dealt with the copper bottom, you can get different, different types of colors for that. You can also come back and um, get uh, a lab decanter. This is cool, right? Because you're doing infusions, right? So this is like chemistry. So you get this cool lab decanter for $38. Uh, you can come in here and get a mixing beaker. All right. You can uh, just, just load up your enthusiasts with the coolest stuff associated with spirits. Um, in addition, they have some other things in here in the wine and dines in the wine and dine section. And in the wine and dine section, <clears throat> they've got a wine decanter. They've got this cool table tower for your wine. Um, they got a champagne saber. Uh, they've got wine stoppers, um, foil cutters, wine openers. Uh, so all kinds of cool products. I, I recommend this. I, I think this is a cool product. I'm sure you would like this. And there are others out there like you that would love this as a gift. So for, I mean, for $95, it's a great start to make an incredible infused alcohol. So this is a product that I really like. It's a lot of fun. You know, a, a, as an engineer and scientist myself, I mean, infusion is a cool idea. You could do fun stuff with it. Um, you don't even have to buy the infusion packets. You can go out and find your own ingredients and experiment and play with this with different spirits. Um, different ingredients, create your own infusions. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go and create my own bitters using that bitters packet. I'm really intrigued by that. because That way I can make some really fun cocktails out of it, but that's gonna take 30 days to infuse some bourbon into uh, a bitters. And then I'll have my own bottled bitters that I can use to um, make some interesting cocktails. So I would say if you're interested in a great gift for yourself, for a cigar enthusiast or a spirit enthusiast, go to ethanash.com and check out what they have and pick one of these up and have some fun with your own infused alcohol. Now this right here, I think I'm going to have to make a few margaritas just to see how they turn out because look at that. In the end, I started with absolutely clear tequila, and now I have this beautiful infused tequila with some ancho chili that's just perfect on the palate. This is Boston Jimmy. Highly recommend checking out ethanash.com. You should too. Wow. <sighs>